The next poem I'm going to read is inspired by a trip to Havana for the first time since I left Cuba. I had never been back and I had the opportunity to travel with a group of students from Connecticut. So it was very exciting for me to be able to recognize things that I saw when I was a child. And this poem is inspired by that moment in my, in my life when I was able to once again see the beautiful city of Havana. The only thing that um, Noche Cubana is uh, it's mentioned in this poem, and Noche Cubana is a very beautiful song dedicated to the Cuban night. And when I was a kid, I always loved that song, Noche Cubana. And as, as we were at this restaurant, there was a piano player and I asked him if he would play it for me. And he did a beautiful rendition. So I think that's the only thing I have to explain about this poem. What we left behind, Havana Vieja, you wait like an elegant hostess yearning for the guest who sat at your dinner table. But now the balcony where you all gathered to marvel at the Noche Cubana has fallen to the ground. The beauty of your past spread on the sidewalk like shattered kaleidoscope. I left you antes de, antes de, before the, as the hotel staff described me. What they meant was before the revolution. Somehow, the date of my departure is like a baptism cleansing me of the sin of having abandoned you. The bus carrying me to the city turns a corner and I, who have been desperately searching for something from my past, recognize a fountain. The one with dolphins and I shout, look, I used to play here. Suddenly, I am 10 and not 70, and I can go back to the park whose name I have forgotten, put on my roller skates, lock them on my shoes, and rush fast to embrace the wind. When Tia Espe took me to the airport that day in April 1954, I was too young to understand that the past would become a colorless memory a few black and white photos my mother brought with her. Inside the plane, I am transformed from Cuban citizen to soon to be homeless immigrant child. Later on, my repressed Cuban identity would burst out when eating my mother's arroz con pollo or lechon asado. Those flavors exploding in my mouth filled my heart. I became like a house in need of repair, disconnected from the family left behind, imagining the cousins I would never meet. I asked my friend if I could borrow her grandmother, pretend she was mine. I had everything and I had nothing because you were always a yearning, a first kiss we can never forget. <laughs> 